Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another vlog. I'm filming this vlog on my phone. Oh, you can probably hear the toilet because I just peed. Sometimes I wonder about what I put on the internet. I'm gonna be looking at the wrong place this entire vlog because it's just so weird filming on my phone. But um, my past self decided that it would be a good idea to book an 8.15 a.m. dentist appointment. Hold on, I gotta pick up my midwife. <laughs> Should I come back like when I'm more ready? Sorry, this is just real life, but you're supposed to go every six months. I think it's been like eight for me, so it's time. But yeah, I don't know what possessed me to think that that would be a fun thing. But anyways, I'm filming this on my phone. I totally forgot to explain that. I'm filming this on my phone because my camera screen shattered like several months ago. I actually think I was filming when it happened. I was resting my camera, which is stupid, on top of a tripod without like actually clipping it in. I don't know what I was doing. And then I bumped the tripod, it fell off and the screen shattered. So anyways, I had bought a new vlog camera, but then I remembered that I had insurance on the old one. So I returned the new one, I had never even used it, and then filed like the insurance claim for the old one and it's in the mail somewhere right now. So can't use it. So this vlog, I, I expected it to come back sooner and I actually haven't even heard that they've received it yet. So. The next couple of vlogs might be on like various different cameras, but we'll see. This is a very weird angle. Like, should I move this? Is this better? Oh, not really. Anyways, good morning. I hope everyone's doing well. It's actually raining here today, which is kind of spectacular. Um, it doesn't happen that often, but it is just kind of funny how like we get really excited for rainy days out here. What is this angle? No, we gotta go until we figure something out. All right, I've gotten myself mostly ready honestly this is as good as it's gonna get today i'm just feeling very lazy i laid in bed and watched tiktoks for two hours i know we can all relate to that so i've got my sweatshirt which is from target i got it like over the summer i think i love it my same leggings from target every day and my like burnt orange vans with some pink socks from amazon okay let's go get my teeth cleaned at eight in the morning interesting um i went into the appointment and like i gave my name and she was like Catherine. oh my god this flyaway is gonna drive me crazy my hair love the girl who does my hair but it started like frying right here and that's literally never happened before so basically i have like mini bangs but um i walked in and, and she kept saying Catherine, and i was like no carrie and she was like hmm i don't see you on the schedule and i was like Oh yeah, I, I made this appointment like a month ago and I showed her the text on my phone that I got this morning that was like, reminder, you have an appointment here at this time. And then the front office, there was like two people at the front desk, a guy and a girl. And the guy looked up and was like, yeah, that's weird. You're like the third person this has happened to. And then just like went back to his work and I was just like, oh. And she was like, it was showing that the appointment was canceled on our end. She was like, are you sure you didn't cancel it? And I was like, no, <laughs> I didn't cancel it. And she was like, um, yeah, it's showing that it's canceled and we're booked today. Like, can you come back on Friday? And I was just like, yeah, I'll look into it. You know, I'll have to check my schedule and call back. But they were not like, sorry, or we'll try to fit you in or anything like that. It was literally just like, yes, I don't know. That was weird. And and I was just like, what if I had like had, had an office job and had taken off work? And like, what if I lived far away? I mean, I live like seven minutes away, so it was no big deal, but that was weird. That was just so bizarre. They weren't like, sorry at all. They were just like, yeah the third person that's happened to him like shouldn't you be looking into that so yeah i booked an appointment they're showing that it was canceled on their end but anyways um a goodwill is right next to my dentist office so i'm just gonna check out some stuff go thrifting why not <laughs> that escalated quickly <laughs> okay it's fine i'm so glad i didn't do my hair so glad okay made back in one piece i'm a little wet but it's okay that was a much better way to start off my day i'm happy with that so i'll show you a little haul of what i got it's kind of like a mini thrift with me so i spent 45 dollars after rounding up and i got one two three 
four, five, six, seven items. So that's pretty good. I found a couple of vintage tees and one of them I'm just gonna wear to bed, but the other one I'm like actually gonna wear. It's pretty cute. First one says Showboat Hotel Casino and Bowling Center Las Vegas. And it's pink and it's really vintage, you can tell. You can tell by like the old school tag and it's gonna just fade really nicely. It was $5.99. I got a vintage Arizona shirt because why not? These were like the shirts that I wore in my childhood in the 90s. So I thought this would be cute just to wear to bed. It was $9.99, which is kind of expensive. Goodwill, just thrifting in general, prices have definitely gone up, which like there's a whole conversation to be had about that. But next I just got a basic shirt. A lot of times I just wear like simple cropped shirts with like leggings around the house. So this one was $5.99. It's from Arizona Jean Co. There you go. I found a skirt, which like I've been on a hunt for like all of my kind of staple skirts lately. And I think I found my black midi maxi skirt and it's just that slinky like 90s material. This one was $7.29 and it's got like a little slit on the side. I think. Yeah, it's got one big old slit on this side. I think it's gonna be really cute for like those 90s looks that I'm going for. And then I managed to find, oh, I bought this by accident. It was already like with me at the register. I'll try to make it work, but it's this knit sweater top and it's cropped and it has kind of like crocheted detailing. So maybe with like the right pants, I can make this work. Although I don't know, well, my hair's not that red anymore. So actually that would look cute. But the true dresses I found were this slip dress, which says it's a size large, but I tried it on and like, well, I put it on over my clothes and it seemed fine. So we'll see. But I just love a slip dress moment. I thought this would be so cute for a night out, like a nice fancy date night or something. It's kind of like midi length. It has a slit up the side and it's gorgeous and vintage. We love it. Oh, and it was $4.49. So couldn't say no to that. And then the last thing I got, I pictured it with cowboy boots immediately. I'm pretty sure it's a nightgown. I literally don't care. I can't read Blanche something, Bianchi. I don't know because like half of the letters have washed off but it's this cute polka dot brown moment and i pictured this it's like a short like a mini dress and i pictured this with some cowboy boots like some white cowboy boots or even brown whatever how freaking cute that lifted my mood for sure and honestly it felt really good to just thrift and like not focus on doing it for work <laughs> sometimes when i go to the thrift store and film thrift with me videos it tends to be really stressful because you're always focused on like getting the shot or just making sure you like curate the perfect stuff. And there was like average stuff in there today, but yeah, it was just fun to stop by for funsies. Okay, now we're gonna head home because I have a call at 11. I was about to look for my phone. It's right there. I have a call at 11 and I'm meeting with my YouTube partner manager, the person who works for YouTube that I talk to once a month. If you didn't know, like after a certain point on YouTube, um, somebody from YouTube will reach out to you and like you get to chat with them and you talk about things like analytics and backend stuff and it's really nice. So I chat with her once a month. So I'm gonna do that, maybe make some lunch, see what else we get up to today. What a weird but fun start to the morning. <laughs> This angle is not ideal, but I'm about to make some breakfast. I mean, I had like yogurt before I left, but I wanna make like an actual breakfast. But Drew and I got these baby kiwis. I think they're called kiwi grapes or something like that when we were at Sprouts over the weekend and they weren't ripe enough to eat yet and now they are. So you literally just eat the whole thing. It's like a baby kiwi. I kind of want to cut it to see what it looks like. Ah, it's a baby kiwi. Okay, let's taste test it. Mm. The seeds are like hard, kind of. <laughs> um, <laughs> let me try a different one. Let me try a softer one. This one's better. Interesting. That second one was way better. The first one just kind of tasted like an underripe kiwi. Mm. Mm -mm. Uh -uh. <sighs> we'll eat them, but wouldn't buy them again. I'd rather just buy kiwis. <laughs>
want to put on the lights in here right now at 10 in the morning, but I literally, it's so dark in here, I can't. I made myself a little breakfast. I made some avocado toast, but on a rice cake. I swear you need to try it. It's game changing. It just tastes so, it's so crunchy. I literally prefer avocado rice cakes over avocado toast. I don't know why, it's just so good to me. It's just something about the crunch, I don't know. I poured a little bit too much vinegar on it. Whoops, so freaking good. Literally within like four minutes, sorry, the washer, washing machine is going. Um, The sun is out now. I don't have to turn the lights on in here anymore, but I wanted to like give an update on parosmia because I've definitely, I don't think I've gotten it to get any better by any means, but I feel like I've found a way to like kind of manipulate it, like control it. I did a lot of research and a lot of people were talking about smell training and like, I'm definitely gonna order those kits, the smell training kits with like the essential oils that you smell every day. It's basically like, if you haven't heard of it, you train your brain to like, reprogram smells if that makes sense apparently it works i don't know it's like the only known treatment for parosmia so you smell four different essential oils i think it's like lemon clove rosemary and rose or something like that and you smell it and you think of like what it smells like and it's you train your brain to think that so i've been kind of trying to do that with coffee because when i smell it up close like this it smells insane, like it smells so good. But then when I smell the air, it smells like trash, like garbage. So basically what I've been doing is like making my coffee every morning before I put milk or anything in it, I literally just sit there and like smell it for a really long time till I get like the coffee smell. Then I put my milk in and basically like before I take every single sip, I like stick my nose basically in it and like smell it. And as I'm smelling it, I like take a sip and it drastically helps. I don't know if it's like a placebo or what's going on with that, but for me, it actually helps. Like it, it really makes drinking coffee tolerable. I drink decaf coffee, so it's not like a need, but coffee is like one of my favorite flavors in the entire world. And I feel like it's been helping a lot with things like chicken. I ate a steak the other night. It's just been really helping to like smell things up close because to me, they don't smell as bad. So I don't know, it's like, it's not getting any worse. So that makes me excited. Let me put ice in it. I'll show you what I do, it's kind of weird. This is the weirdest vlog, but it's just like a hang out with me casual iPhone vlog, right? It's fine. Okay, so I have my coffee here and basically what I do is like I sniff it. Sorry about my washing machine. And like it tastes so much better that way. I swear to God, like it really does help. I don't know what it is. The other day, you know, my smoothies had kind of started tasting like garbage. And what I would do was like smell each ingredient before I put it in. Like I would take a big whiff of my protein powder, the almond milk, the fruit, everything like that. And then I would drink it and it would kind of be fine. So I don't know. This is my life now. If there's a tinge of trash, but not near like as bad as it has been. So I'm pretty pleased. If you have parosmia and you've tried smell training and you feel like it's worked for you, definitely let me know down below. It's fascinating. It's now like 5 p.m. Um, the day just kind of got away from me. I was doing a bunch of work on the computer, just like some editing and catching up on things. Uh, I took a nap, as you can probably see. <laughs> My makeup is like all smudged. But I'm gonna try to get a quick workout in as well. I've been still, like for those of you that kept up with the fitness video that I made back in, I guess it was the beginning of the month or like the very end of January. Um, I have been keeping up with working out almost every day. It's just like easier for me to have the mindset that like I know I'm gonna do something small every day as opposed to like which days of the week should I work out? Like you know how sometimes if you do like four or five, three days a week, like it's harder for me to like pick the days. It's easier to just kind of like do it and get it over with. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm kind of trying to decide which workout I wanna do. I think I wanna do like a Peloton class, but also like a quick workout video on YouTube sounds kind of good. So I don't know, maybe we'll browse YouTube first and like see what there is. This is also the time of day that I run the Roomba. So if you hear her, she's just doing her thing. Oh, in case you were wondering where Layla was, of course she's laying outside. Are you loving the sunshine? It's so cool outside today because it rained all morning. She's loving it. She just had her dinner. And I left my water bottle upstairs. Okay, 
secured the bottle. I think I'm gonna do like a 25, 30 minute workout. There are ones on YouTube that are for free, obviously. And there's a girl that I've tried. I think her channel's called Grow With Joe, I'm pretty sure. And that's like already up on my YouTube search history on this TV down here, so let's do it. There she is, all right. Let's see what we can find. I will say I like her workout videos because they're just like quick and to the point. The music is bad most of the time because she has to do like royalty free. She has a couple of like dance parties that don't have um, royalty free music, but also it's like very weight loss focused. So if you're not able to like separate the workout from like weight loss stuff and like diet culture stuff, I would just be cautious, but she's very smiley and really, really cute. My workout over, Layla. You're taking over. I'm taking over because you got excited because your dad told him. Oh, sweet girl. Ah, we did it. Oh, there's a lot going on. We'll reconvene later. But we did it. it. Feels so good. We're now on a walk. Me and the Waylas. It's actually so cold outside that my eyes are watering. And she's over it. That's all for Layla. Sweet angel. Can I have a kiss? She's so cute. Okay, I'm home. That was quite the um, last five minutes. Holy crap. So literally right after I turned off the camera, I was like, okay, let's go home. I heard something. And basically, at like, I'm not going to give too much away about my location, but I was like at a little park area, like a little green belt, if you will, like a 10 minute walk away from my house. And I heard like this sound of a woman almost like screaming, like she was like, no, 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 no. And then I looked up at the street that was like close by. I was probably like 700 feet away, or, like I was far away, but I heard like, no, no, no. And then I looked and a dog had come out of nowhere and attacked the dog that Layla and I had just seen. And that poor dog got attacked. This dog came like running out of its driveway. It had a leash on, which I found out later, but I, they, it was a full blown dog fight, like an actual dog fight. I'm like, I feel like I'm like shaking almost still. Like it was really scary. The owner of the dog who was attacking like ran out and was trying to pull off the dog. Oh, hello. <laughs> I just told Drew this whole story. What? No, I'm talking on the phone, but. To my blog. I just froze because I was like, if Layla gets attacked, like she, she's so, she's an old sweet lady. Like I was just like, I need to just stay where I am. I can't drop my leash and like run and leave Layla. So it happened so fast. Like the dog was attacking her dog for probably like 10 or 15 seconds. And they were both trying really hard to like separate the dogs. And then it was so scary. She was like, get him off. Ah! Like it was her mail. She threw her mail. Oh my God, it was so crazy. And so her dog ran home, the one who was getting attacked. And then the one who was attacking like got pulled back by the owner and they went inside. And then the lady was just um, like gathering all of her mail on the ground when I walked by. And I was just like, are you okay? And she was like, what? She was like all shaken up. And I was like, are you okay? Do you need anything? Do you need me to call anyone? And she was like, no, I'm fine. Luckily my dog knew to um, run home and like, he's okay, I think. And the other dog's okay. And I was like, okay. And she was like, stupid fucking people don't know how to control their dogs. Like he wasn't, he was on a leash, but he got away or something like that. And like, that was just crazy. And so then I go, is the dog inside? Like I couldn't tell. And I was scared to walk by the house because I was like, I'm not, I don't want my dog to get attacked. And then as that happened, the husband came outside and he was like, I'm so sorry. And I think he was talking to me first because he like thought it was me, but then he realized it was the other lady and I just kept walking. And then the other lady was like, do not talk to me right now. And it was just freaking crazy. I think they're next door neighbors, but whoa, so dramatic. Luckily both dogs are okay, but it's just crazy because you literally, you can have the best, most well-behaved dog in the world and like you can't just let them run free out of your sight. Like even, I don't know, I see people do that all the time. Like their dog's off of a leash. I said something to someone at the park who was letting her dogs run off a leash and they ran and like charged at Layla. And I was literally thinking, this is it. Like this is the dog fight I've been dreading. And like when she came up, she was like on speakerphone with someone just like, come here, 
whatever. And I was just like, do you have a leash for them? And she was like, well, they usually don't run away. And I'm like, you have no idea like what kind of dog you're running into. So like my dog could have killed their dogs. You know what I mean? It's just, or they could have killed mine. <laughs> anyway, I'm just like all fired up. That was dramatic, but really, really scary. And oh my God, I think I have an eyelash extension in my eye. That was just really scary. And like my thought after I got home and like got Layla inside and everything was just that if we had walked by less than one minute later, it would have been Layla. And that could make me cry. So I'm not gonna think about it, but I'm glad everyone's okay and safe. All of the people and dogs involved were probably really shaken up. Layla didn't give a shit at <laughs> all. She was just like, but we were so far away. I don't even think she realized it was happening. Um, but yeah, everyone's okay. Crazy, crazy times. Who remembers these quarantine wine glasses? So tonight I'm having a loud and clear soft blanc. It's vegan and sustainable, and it pairs well with goat cheese and summer pool parties. Well, it's winter and we're having fish, so. <laughs> Same. <laughs> about that time for me to head upstairs shower and get ready for bed it's been a really good day and i've enjoyed spending it with you so thanks for being here and i will hopefully see you very soon in my next vlog so bye love you doodles